Cities and towns have spent the past few weeks making plans, adjusting them, and trying to help people affected. Prime example, St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter, who decided playgrounds and athletic courts would stay open, only to close them a week later. Christian Cordero joins us from our studio at the state fairgrounds where she caught up with the mayor one on one. Hi, Christian. Hey there, Jen. Yeah, look, we spoke with Mayor uh, Carter last week and he told us that there's no one final decision for a lot of these types of calls, right? Uh, we had that nice weather earlier this week. We've had a lot of nice days since and that can make it really hard to be socially distant in things like playgrounds and basketball courts. What he's hoping won't be as challenging is enforcing it. You know, the number one enforcement is education. You know, I, I think right now uh, we all know there's a global pandemic uh, and we all have uh, heard now the phrase social distancing. And as long as people keep that six foot separation, you can still go to parks and trails. The compromises go beyond what's open versus what's closed, though. St. Paul's canceled Grand Old Day. Uh, it's reconsidering events throughout the rest of summer. And when we talk about summer in Minnesota from our booth here at the state fairgrounds, it's hard to ignore those 12 days at the end that usually bring people together. Knowing the information we have right now, would you feel comfortable bringing your family to the state fair later this year if it were still to happen? Oh, I think that's just that, that, that depends on so many variables uh, and it's not possible for me to give you a definitive answer on something like that, uh, you know, based on speculation this far in advance. Uh, my hope is that by the time that's the case, uh, we'll have uh, seen some breakthroughs in the science and the medicine around uh, COVID-19 uh, that will have uh, been able to uh, figure out a lot of uh, things that we know that we're going to be challenged with over the next couple months to think of the economic and emotional impacts of not having a state fair, but no decision has been made yet. Uh, they're following the science, so no need to linger over it. Now back to St. Paul. Economically, its most vulnerable businesses and families will soon see some relief through its bridge fund. It's worth about $4 million, and one thing that's really cool is about a quarter of that money right now is coming from private donations. That, uh, Jen, is something that the mayor is very, very encouraged by. Nice to uh, keep something positive. Thanks, Christian. Yeah.